Welcome to As a Crow Flies Hiking. A while back, I did a video called, There Is No Perfect Sleeping Pad. It really depends on what kind of adventure you're doing and where you're going and what the temperature is and what kind of R value you need. Plus, there's all sorts of preferences about the size of the pad, the length of the pad, the width, and insulation. Well, Flextail sent me their new sleeping pad. It is the Zero R5 pad. It's insulated. And I'm wondering if it will replace my go-to pad. That's the Thermarest NeoAir X-Lite. And it has been the perfect pad. But there are times when it gets down to 20 degrees or lower that there is a little coolness underneath. Well, the Flextail pad may be the perfect situation of a pad for me because the R value is 5.6. It's actually 21 inches in width, whereas the Thermo Rest is 20. And I'm wondering, is this the perfect sleeping pad? Let's just take a look at them and see what you think. Let's get into it. Well, there they are, both blown up. You can see the flex tail is a little bit wider than the Thermo Rest NeoAir X Lite. You can also see that the baffles go horizontal instead of vertical like the flex tail. And of course, because the R value is a little higher on the flex tail, it's going to be a little heavier. In fact, I think it's five or six ounces heavier at 18.3 ounces. I'll put down the specs of the Thermo Rest NeoAir X Lite. Both come with these nice little bags that both fit inside. In fact, the flex tail is a little bit bigger bag and gives you a little breathing room when you make a mistake in folding it up. But it both come with a patch kit because things are gonna happen and you're gonna have to make repairs on the fly. So great to have those. What I think the difference comes down to is a little bit of comfort on the flex tail pad. Yes, it's a little bit heavier, but I love the way the baffles go vertical instead of horizontal on the thermo rest. I have always thought that I needed a little bit more width in the shoulder room on this and maybe maybe a, a little bit around the chest area that you have a little bit width up here that gives you a little bit more comfort with your elbows. Typically my elbows come off the pad on the thermo rest and that's fine. It really doesn't bother me. Some people don't like that and that's why a lot of people go to a 25 inch wide pad. But really it boils down to this. When you're getting into temperature ratings that get below 20 degrees, and sometimes in the dead of winter you get that, up in the Northeast they need higher R values, maybe up to six or seven, but a 5.6 in the Southeast is about as much as you would ever need. And sometimes I've needed that, but I think this is gonna be great for me in the dead of winter, and it's a four season pad, whereas the Thermo Rest is really a three season pad when you think about it. So on the flex tail, you have a polyester fiber fabric. To the touch, it feels different than the Thermo Rest, just a little bit different. And maybe it's just the baffles or maybe it's the insulation, but it feels a little bit different. The Thermo Rest has a completely different valve system than the flex tail. The flex tail has the valve system that you can open it once to blow it up and then you open it twice with a second valve or a dual valve to completely release it and it's a quick release. Whereas on this, you do have a quick release but you have to turn the top of the valve and I've talked about that in my other video. Just a different system, neither one seems to have the edge. I do like the quick release on the dual valve and I think this will be great for me. And then of course using the zero pump that I have from Flextail, I have all the different nozzles and especially have one for the Flextail so I can use it to quickly blow up the pad when I need it. Of course, both pads, the Thermo Rest and the Flextail come in the mummy size and the regular size. I personally prefer the mummy size just because it sheds off a little weight and I like the way it kind of fits in my tent. Using a one person tent most of the time, I like to have a little bit more room in the tent and when it's a mummy size, you have that extra room. People have very strong preferences when it comes to a regular size pad or a mummy size pad, a 25 inch, some people even get a 27 inch pad uh, for width because they don't like their elbows coming off the pad. 
I just don't have an issue with it, though I can understand how people would. Now in both pads, you have a thermal insulation. This is an aluminum and a foil type system, sort of like you see in a Mylar balloon, but it reflects the heat back onto the body so that you don't lose heat into the ground. Both of these do kind of the same. This just has a little bit more R value at a 5.6 than I believe a 4.6. I'll have to put the specs down below on the thermal rest. Close to the same, but I do like the fact that you could go down to lower temperatures if you needed to in the flex tail. One of the big differences between the flex tail and the thermal rest is this. It comes down to price. Comes in at around 119 for the mummy size, maybe 130 for the regular size. These pads for me, I believe I paid around 150 or 160 for this pad, though they may be cheaper now. Uh, the thermal rest are just a little bit more expensive pad. Now time will tell on the flex tail, though I do feel like this is a stronger fabric. It does feel pretty strong to the touch. So I believe that this is going to be a great pad and going to be scratch resistant or puncture resistant. However, I always carry a ground sheet. I do a ground sheet more for this, for the pad, than I do for any abrasions to the bottom of my tent. Both are very comfortable pads and I am looking forward to using this and testing it out for a lot of trips to come. I love the way that it kind of hugs your body. I mean, a night sleep out in the back country is the greatest thing ever if you can get good sleep. Maybe sleeping by a stream or a waterfall or just having that good comfort in your sleep. I think the fact that this pad is a little bit thicker. I think that it's 3.8 inches and this is probably three inches so a little bit thicker pad in the flex tail than in the thermal rest so what it boils down to is price and maybe a little bit of thickness in the pad and then the r value i think that i can use this pad in more situations than the thermal rest i don't know that there is a perfect pad but this is gonna be a great option for me in the winter. I hope you'll check out Flextail and all their wonderful products. Of course, you saw the Flextail pump, the mosquito devices that they have, and all sorts of great products. Thanks for watching this short episode of the first impressions of the Flextail Zero pad. I'm excited to use it, and I appreciate Flextail for thinking of my channel and sending it to me for the first impressions, and I look forward to doing a full review later on. I'll see you on the next adventure.